How the Food Risk Assessment Matrix Works? This video will focus specifically on the risk assessment matrix for food safety applications and explain a few criteria. The importance of food risk assessment matrix. Understanding the food risk assessment matrix is crucial for food safety professionals as it enables us to effectively identify and manage potential risks in the food industry. By comprehending the different components of the matrix, we can accurately assess the hazards and risks associated with food production and consumption. Further, allows us to implement appropriate control measures to mitigate these risks and ensure the safety of the food supply chain. How the Risk Assessment Matrix Works the risk assessment is a scientific approach used to evaluate the potential risks associated with a particular activity or product. In food safety, the risk assessment matrix is a tool that helps quantify and prioritize the risks associated with food production, processing, and consumption. The risk assessment matrix consists of different components that aid the evaluation process. These components include hazard identification, exposure assessment, and risk and hazard characterization. Hazard identification involves identifying potential hazards that may be present in the food production or processing chain, such as biological, chemical, or physical hazards. These hazards include biological hazards, bacteria, viruses and parasites, chemical hazards, pesticides, food additives and contaminants, and physical hazards, glass, metal, or plastic fragments. When you conduct hazard identification such as the HACT plan and PCP, it is important to note that the better your descriptions are, the easier it is for you to perform hazard characterization. Hazard characterization involves determining the severity and likelihood of adverse health effects associated with each identified hazard. Before performing a hazard characterization, we must select the risk assessment matrix. The right risk assessment matrix is the one you are comfortable using. We can perform an exposure assessment when we find our risk assessment matrix. Exposure assessment involves evaluating the likelihood and extent of exposure to the hazard. This includes assessing the hazard levels in the food product, estimating the amount of the food product consumed by the population, and determining the frequency and duration of exposure. Risk characterization combines hazard and exposure assessment to determine the overall risk level. Remember to use your risk assessment matrix to determine the risk level for all inputs, including ingredients, packaging materials, water, gas and process steps. When we write food safety plans for our clients, we typically write about 20 to 40 pages of risk assessment and control you can always work with a food safety consultant to develop your food safety plan. What's next after risk assessment? After identifying the risk level, it is important to control our risk. With low and medium risk or similar risk terms, ingredients and processes. We can typically control them using GMP, prerequisite programs such as employee hygiene, training, foreign material control, allergen control, etc. SQF. If you are running the SQF program, control them using the combination of Module 11 for GMP practices and Module 2. USFSMA. If you follow the PCP requirements, you can control them using preventive controls such as supply chain PC, process PC, allergen PC and sanitation PC. Evaluating the effectiveness of food risk assessment and control. To evaluate the effectiveness of our food risk assessment and control, 
we need to gather data from our operations and perform trending to assess whether better control is needed. Continuous review of the risk assessment and control can help us understand if we set the correct risk level for our facility. Remember, control and risk can vary from one facility to another, even for the exact same process. Real-world applications The risk assessment matrix is widely used in the food industry to assess and manage risks. It has been instrumental in improving food safety by identifying potential hazards and implementing appropriate control measures. The future of food safety, advancements in risk assessment and management. Risk assessment and management advancements are continuously being made to improve food safety. These include the development of new technologies for hazard detection and monitoring, using predictive modeling to assess risks, and integrating data from various sources to enhance risk assessment. These methods allow for quicker and more accurate identification of hazards, enabling faster response times and more effective control measures. This involves using mathematical models and algorithms to predict the likelihood and severity of adverse health effects associated with specific hazards. We can better understand the risks associated with specific hazards by integrating data from various sources, such as surveillance systems, laboratory testing and consumer complaints. Want to know more? Stay tuned and follow our YouTube channel.